Hi, I'm Dan here in Amsterdam, and this is Athium Book Candle. We've been asking customers what they think about online book sales and coming to bookshops, how they could improve it, what they think, what they like. Say hello to the team. Hey. Frankie, why don't you go inside and let's hear what you have to say. Why do you come to bookshops? Uh, just looking around and seeing if things are cheaper in this store or than the other. Uh, how often? Uh, one time per week. Okay. Um, do you think that bookshops could be improved with the cafe or events? No, no I don't think so. It's no? Just for books. And uh, do you buy books online at all? Yeah, book depository. Okay. It's very cheap and they have almost everything. So. Do you prefer buying online or do you prefer buying online? Um, some books I wish to see first before I buy them. So. Okay. Why? Why, yeah. Oh, I wanted to buy this book. <laughs> okay. I read about it in the newspaper. And yeah. uh, I have it in my hands okay. now. <laughs> uh, how often do you come to buy books? Hmm. Five times uh, in a month. Oh, okay. How do you think bookshops could be improved? That's a difficult question. <laughs> <laughs> do you think oh. if you put a cafe mm. or reading? Yes, I have seen very good bookshops in Tokyo and in Sydney, and that I don't see in Amsterdam. But maybe that's not possible. Uh, to have it here, Would you because be more likely uh, a to... lot of there are a lot of people, and oh. Amsterdam is a small village. Yeah. <laughs> if you compare it with Sydney or Tokyo, would you be more likely to go to a bookshop with a cafe? Or I think so. Yeah. In Tokyo, when I am there, my son is living there. Oh, okay. He's a Japanese woman. Yeah. Uh, I always go there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe the... twice a week. Uh, the online bookshops started to boom. Uh, did you yeah. feel a difference in the sales? Well, we do we feel a difference, but it's not as big as many people say. Because it's, it's ever so important to see the books around you, to be surrounded by books, to make the choice and to be able to be surprised other than only um, being able to find books on the internet. You always find what you're looking for on the internet and you find different things in a bookshop where there's actually paper books. Yeah. So you think that the physical bookshop has a different uh, role? It does have a different role. The, the bookshop is sort of like a missionary post in, in, in urban society. You try to uh, give quality and quantity to people and you try to surprise people with new books that they haven't seen before or haven't read before about in newspapers or magazines. And that's sort of the role of the bookshop in society, I think. Do you think the bookshop needs to create an, a different atmosphere to, uh, to draw people in, maybe? Well, there's a lot of bookshops that think they should do that, too. They, that they have to do extras, sell uh, wine or videos or whatever to make uh, the bookshop a uh, place uh, like a theatre. Well, it's not. The theater kind of thing about the bookshop are the books. So you have to focus on the books and that, that is what makes a good bookshop in my opinion. Do you have lectures here, like readings or something? We do, not inside the shop itself, but we do have a, a venue across the street where we organize something like 200 uh, readings a year and signing sessions and interviews and short movies, etc. Does it help to sell? Well, that, that is a big help, yeah. When, what, what we call in Dutch, you have to open a window sometimes, and that is our window, amongst other things. 